Item in the news, the 7.8 earthquake that devastated Nepal brought about the collapse of some churches during services. Many professing Christians were among the thousands killed by the quake. Sometimes God calls his children home suddenly, and we pray for the Christian families and all people affected by this disaster. One story behind the story is the fall of the many temples in and around the capital city, Kathmandu. Dozens of Hindu temples built in honor of the Hindu gods were brought down to ruins. Here's a photo of the Vatsala temple built for the worship of the Hindu goddess Durga in the city of Bhaktapur before the earthquake. And here's a photo after the quake, the temple fully collapsed. Notice in those two photos again, see the buildings before the quake, those buildings still standing after the quake that destroyed the temple of the Hindu goddess Durga. She is the mother goddess who sits upon the beast I've talked about in previous videos. Now here's a picture taken before the quake. This is the main square of Kathmandu. Atop the pillar is the Hindu god Garuda, the eagle god that the god Vishnu rides upon. After the quake, the god is smashed into pieces at the foot of the pillar. Now here's a surviving depiction of one of the chief gods of Nepal, Garaknath, supposed incarnation of Shiva, who taught the people the practice of yoga. Today, the people of Nepal are in great distress, cities and villages in ruins, thousands injured and in need of help. I'm providing a link in the description box below this video, a link to Christian Aid Mission, which is already on the ground in Nepal, working through native missionaries to help and giving the people what they need the most, the message of hope that is in Jesus Christ. God is calling to the people of Nepal and India and all the world. Turn from your idols, turn from your false gods, and turn to the living God. Your weeping need only last for this dark night. Joy can be yours in the morning. Today is darkness, but tomorrow can be filled with hope and joy for you if you will look to Jesus Christ. He is the living God who was born into the world to die for your sins and mine. He took all your bad portion upon himself. All that you and I deserve to pay ourselves. Jesus paid for that on the cross. Jesus atoned for our sins and rose from the dead to give eternal life in heaven to all who will trust in his name. He is the Lord revealed in the Holy Bible and he stands at the door of your heart and he's knocking right now. Won't you open that door to your heart right now and let him come in and save your soul.